Welcome back to this week's extra video of See the Little Things. If you subscribe for blue ass anchorages, exploring the mat and learning a thing or two along the way, don't worry, the next one will be yours. This week though, we have visited the world's biggest boat show, Boot Düsseldorf. Every year about 1900 exhibitors exhibit in 17 exhibition halls covering 56 acres. The boat show covers everything from sailboats to powerboats, super yachts, accessories, ribs, tenders, diving, windsurfing, kitesurfing, surf surfing, wakeboarding, paddleboarding, canoeing, kayaking, fishing, snorkeling, boat A kayaking. few days ago we asked you guys what kind of boat you wanted us to cover for a quick run and gun boat tour and some of you actually answered. So today we are going to look at the new Harbeck Rassi 40C and later on the Sun Odyssey 410. We understand that these are very different boats that most likely serve different purposes at different price points and you can't really compare those side by side. Which we don't because this is a boat fair video with shaky footage as you never get much time to film properly on these events. Nonetheless we will show you some of the differences and the price points. Anyways this is our take on it, enjoy! We arrived quite early and managed to get a good look at the 40C. It's a beautiful center cockpit boat with a you get what you pay for price of 470,000 euros ready to sail. As most newer models alike, the 40C does not have fair leads, instead the cleats are attached right on the edge. The tow rail is a bit less high but still exists, which is nice considering how often I would have lost the tool if there was no rail to stop it. The cockpit has a hard spray hood and lots of space for instruments. And all lines that lead to the helm are tucked below the spray hood until they come out close to the mast. I like because you won't trip on the lines if you walk on deck. Access to the foredeck is wide, though a few things to consider in general when looking at indoor boat shows is that most of times half of the rigging is missing because the mast is cut off midway. So here you most likely have to swing around the second stay. That's the bowsprit, tucking the anchor in nicely, there's an attachment for a code zero and here's the anchor locker, two layers deep. The chain is led nicely by several pulleys, stacking up invisibly below the first layer. Alright, moving on. Plenty of windows on the foredeck, a conveniently placed stair to move back into the cockpit. The main sheet is attached behind the cockpit with a more or less regular traveler system. When flying downwind, the main sheet just might dangle in close reach to the cockpit. I don't know, can't really tell from this, but something to keep in mind in case you're accidentally jibing, there's more line that could loop around your limbs when things turn sour. Going inside, turning left, you see the navigation table with plenty of space, whilst on the starboard side you see the galley with two fridges, microwave and dishwasher, a two burner stove and oven and deep double sinks and cupboards. Moving forward, that's the V-Birth, more storage everywhere. illuminated lockers and a big hatch with integrated sun cover. Yeah. And that's only the guest cabin. Yeah, I know. I want to see the other one. That's the saloon, big folding dining table and the option for lounge chairs. There's more storage basically everywhere behind and under the couch and also on every possible angle like here and here. Next up, that's the hatch to the engine. The space in front of the engine is meant to put a generator in. And this is the side axis from where you could easily step in to get access to all sides of the engine. It's a Volvo Penta D260 with 60 horsepower. Mm -hmm. 
Going further aft, we get to the massive owner's cabin with the big bed, plenty of light through the windows and hatches, and storage. That's the heads with a separate shower and a small washing machine tucked behind a cover. So here's the whole layout, pause and screenshot if you want to. Now a quick look at the underside of the hull. There's the bow thruster, which retracts when not in use, and... The aft thruster. <laughs> it exists. It exists. What the hell? So you can just park in sideways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go, that's the lead filled keel and the sail drive prop. It's a twin rudder, so the stream of the prop doesn't hit the rudder directly. So for maneuvering in close quarters, there's an aft thruster to help you out with prop walk and slow turns. So that is the new Halberg Rossi 40C. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tour. Apparently this signals YouTube that this is a good video, but what do I know? Checking this off the list, we continue to enjoy the boat show. We listened to the talk of our friends from Fast Floating and we made our way to the super yacht. In the near future, we'll have a similar video of the Jeannot Sun Odyssey 410. Yeah. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification to get a notification when the video is live. If you want to see a proper boat tour of our own home, then click the video on the left. And if you want to see Sailing in the Med, check out the playlist.